back to Hannity. All right, before we go tonight, a good friend of the show, Governor Sarah Palin, reached a huge milestone birthday. She turned the big 5-0, and she's on the phone now to talk about the big day. Governor, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, half century. You're a jubilee. I am old. <laughs> I'm, I'm older than you. I'm 52, Governor. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have, you have anything big planned for the big day? Uh, leaving Piper's middle school volleyball game and... Um, I have kind of a cool birthday gift from Todd. He's going to join me tonight in a late night Bikram hot yoga class. He's going to get all namaste up before the minute. Iron Dog the, is the, the, in. The guy that goes out in the freezing cold, gets frostbite <laughs> on snowmobiles, is going to your yoga class. And he is. I, I want him to namaste up, you know, before the race on a Sunday, the Iron Dog, dog starts. So, yeah, all right, look, probably don't okay. want to single me for publicizing that, though. A friend of mine that's a, a much better basketball and tennis player than me, he does it. So I guess I'm not questioning it, but I, you know, I'm not that. I don't know. I'm not flexible in my political views or touching my toes. So, uh, <laughs> look, 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 first of all, you had your. I saw this big. Your pack put out a, a congratulations video to you. I had cut something for that video. They they literally put me on the cutting room floor, Governor. What's up with that? Well, welcome to my world. I'm like, well, <laughs> gee, what happened? I mean, you got Mark Levin, you've got, you know, governors and senators and everybody there. And where am I? I'm, I'm on the cutting room floor. I couldn't believe it. Well, I don't know, but thank you so much for that nice greeting and for everybody taking their time. My goodness, yeah. it's precious time, most precious resource that people spend. Thank you. All right, last question, one political question. Um, we just had earlier in the program, we had uh, Governor Perry of Texas. You know what? He's got a $12 billion surplus. They have no state income tax in Texas. And all the other states are suffering. Federal government record debt. And then the Republicans caved on the get debt ceiling. And I'm wondering, where's the vision? Yeah, it, granted, you can vote against Obama, but don't they have to put forward an agenda that's going to get people off of welfare, food stamps, back to work, creating jobs, becoming energy self-sufficient, saving us from Obamacare? Where is that agenda? Why aren't they fighting? Yep, and Governor Perry is absolutely right, and Alaska and Texas be so much alike. I left our state also with a surplus. And, Sean, we need leaders to keep their promises and won't back down or fall apart under pressure from the establishment, from the left-wing media. I, I, my message to the GOP is, please, folks, don't retreat. You better be reloading at this time. At this They're point, retreating. They, the, the Democrats in Congress are a lost cause, so we must be able to count on the GOP to, at this time, reload and come back firing away to get our country on a road to solvency, which is liberty. You know, the Tea Party and the establishment ought to agree on this. The penny plan, balance the budget, stop robbing from our kids. Energy can create jobs just like North Dakota, 2.6% unemployment. Um, control the borders and an alternative uh, health care savings accounts. I think that saves the country. Sounds Wouldn't like we all agree? Sounds like a common sense conservative agenda, and it's exactly what America needs. All right. Happy birthday, Governor. And, Thank you. And I'm still older than you. <laughs> by two years. I know. Thanks so much. And you look a lot younger, so I know. All right. No. Thank you, Governor. Okay, bless you. Thanks. And, Bye -bye. And, that, and that's all the time we have left this evening. And before we go, don't forget, set your DVR. You want to record Hannity this